Hello, my precious little eggs. Let's talk about macro photography. Macro photography is something that interests me a bunch, though I gotta confess, I don't do it often. But I've been thinking about it more recently because of a video my buddy JT from the channel Run and Gun uploaded. When I watched his video, all I could think was, wow, we have the same whiskey set. And also, I want to do macro photography. There is one slight issue though, I don't own a macro lens. But if you're a long time viewer on this channel, you know that I don't let slight issues get in the way of greatness, so today, I'm gonna reverse lens whack. You might be saying to yourself, WHAT THE HELL IS EVEN THAT?! I'll explain along the way, but let's go shoot. I'm kind of combining two things here. Lens whacking is when you disconnect the lens from the camera and shoot anyway. You get all kinds of light leaks and dreamy effects. When you reverse the lens, it effectively becomes a macro lens. It's not a true macro lens, but it is a hell of a lot cheaper than buying one. They actually do make filters that you can screw onto the front of your lens and mount your lens backwards, but I don't have one of those. Of course, you do have to be a little careful while you're doing this that so you don't scratch up your lens. Oh. Just like that. My first mistake of the day, of course, was getting out of bed, but my second mistake of the day was using Ektachrome for this. Ektachrome, of course, is a slide film, so it's a lot less forgiving in terms of exposure, so that's definitely the film you want to be using when you're kind of just eyeballing and experimenting a little bit. If you're going the macro route, you definitely want to make sure that the lens is as close to the body as possible. Even little gaps between the lens and the body will give you a ton of light leaks, which in some cases could look cool, but in others could become really distracting and ruin the photo. So we're just going to kind of ignore the fact that I almost skewered my eye out during this video. <laughs> Focusing is definitely tricky when you're shooting like this. The depth of field is razor thin. And you also kind of have to don't, don't move your body. in order to get anything in focus. I'm basically bringing the camera closer and further away until it looks close enough in focus for me. Then I fire the shot. the way these photos came out, the bouquet gives it almost like a radial blur effect. It's really interesting. I gotta say, I am glad that I used Ektachrome. Even though not all the exposures are perfect and some of them got a little muddy and ugly looking, the ones that worked, those colors are remarkable. Damn, I really nailed the exposure on that one. I must confess, there is one shot on this roll that is not a macro shot, but I just thought the moon looked really cool, so I snapped that one. Apologies. After one of the times I was shooting, I stopped to grab Chinese food and I took this quick shot of the neon sign there. And this photo made me think of JT's video again, because neon lights was one of his suggestions, so with the remaining photos on the roll, I tried to check off as many of his suggestions as possible. The rest of these photos were just taken around my apartment. So what do you think? You're gonna try and do some reverse lens whacking and take some macro photos yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Or have you done this before? I'd love to see your photos. You can join the Discord and share all your photos there. If you've never done this before, a little bit of advice, you might want to try it out on digital first just so you can get the hang of it and not waste film. Or you can do you and just have fun with it. Learn from the mistakes. To me, that's the best way to learn film photography anyway. Major shout out to JT for making that video and unknowingly inspiring this one. Go check out his channel, show him some love, tell him I sent ya. And before we get on out of here guys, we gotta talk about the feature of the week and of course it's gonna be macro photography. 
We had a bunch of awesome features as we always do on the Discord. Make sure you join in the link below, but I'm gonna give it to Mr. Authentic Aesthetic himself for this beautiful photo. I just love the feel uh, of it. Great, that's a great take. All right guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure you smash subscribe, share the video, and I will see you soon. All right, bye. After one of the nights of shooting, I decided to stop at one of my favorite places for food. Uh, you definitely have to, you definitely, today, I'm gonna map. And of course on film, you can't really check and see. <laughs> and of course the added challenge that. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Just we do photography.